Hello. I'm continuing with section 2.1 on rectangular coordinates and graphs. I'm going to finish that today. And the next topic is equations into variables. Okay, so we um, um, we did what we did last time. We did rectangular coordinates and uh, a couple of formulas: the distance between two points and the midpoint of the line segment joining two points. So we're going to be working with graphs of equations. Uh, order pairs are you are used to express the solution of equations into variables. When an order pair represents the solution of an equation in the variables x and y, the x value is written first. For example, we say that one, two, one comma two is the solution of two x minus y. Because you plug them in, um, two times one minus two is going to be zero. So we always go in alphabetical order. We always write first the x value and then the y value. So I'm going to go over example seven. For each equation, find at least three order pairs that are solutions. Okay, so that's page 189. Uh, so one way to do this, if we, want to, if we want to find at least three order pairs, we can fix um, we can fix one uh, one value and uh, obtain the second one. We're going to use uh, we're going to choose a real values that are easy to evaluate. And the nice thing, the nice thing about these equations is that uh, they are already solved. That one variable is, is already solved in terms of the other. Like in part A, uh, the first three values I can think of are zero, one, and two. When x is zero, y is four times zero minus one. Okay, so one order pair is going to be zero, negative one. If x is one, y is four times one minus one. So another order pair, order pair that is a solution of this equation is one comma three. And if I fix uh, I can let x be negative one or x be two. So if x is two, y is four times two minus one. Four times two is eight. Eight minus one is seven. So another order pair is going to be two comma seven. In part B, now this equation is solved for x. So we are going to fix y. to obtain an x value. We are going to choose the y values. So the square root is an integer. So I want real numbers. I cannot let y be 0 because I'm going to have square root of negative 1, which is a complex number, which is uh, which is a number i. But uh, we're not going to, uh, we cannot grab those, we cannot plot, do, plot those on the coordinate system. So I will start with y equals 1. Because 1 minus 1 is 0, and the square root of 0 is 0. And remember to always write the the the, the 
um, uh, the coordinates in alphabetical order. First, we write X, and then we write Y. Um, I can let Y be two, because two minus one is one, and the square root of one is one. So in alphabetical order, this is one comma two. And the next one, um, if I let y be three, I, I'm going to have square root of two, which is not an integer. If I let y be four, I have square root of three, which is not an integer. So I'm going to let y be five. It's easy, it's going to be easier if we work with integers. So I'm going to let x be, well, uh, y be five. So we're going to keep the numbers as, si as simple as possible in case we need to, uh, to graph them. So in alphabetical order, that's going to be 2 comma 5. OK, so we found three order pairs that are solutions. And uh, part C, y is x squared minus 4. So another thing we can do is make a table of values. OK, so we can make a table. With bx value. A y value. And the order pair that is a solution of this equation. So initially I chose uh, three, but I can get as many as we want. So we can do negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two for x values. The y values are going to be uh, negative two squared minus four. Negative two squared minus four is four minus four and that is zero. And the order pair is negative two comma zero. Uh, negative one squared is one. One minus four is negative three. So the order pair is negative one, negative three. Zero squared is zero. Minus four is negative four. The order pair is zero, negative four. Yes. Um, I will need more space. And I have two more. Okay, so if x is one, one square minus four is negative three. The order pair is one negative three. And if x is two, two square minus four is four minus four, which is zero. And the order pair is two comma zero. So we found five order pairs that are solutions of this equation. And uh, we can graph equations into variables in the coordinate system by point plotting. OK, so let's switch. OK, so we went over this example. Um, but yes, we can graph by, by point plotting. The graph of an equation is found by plotting uh, order pairs that are solutions of the equation. The intercepts of the graph are good points to plot first. They are not always the best, but that's, um, I mean, you can start with the intercepts if they are easy to plot. An x-intercept is a point where the graph intersects the x-axis, and a y-intercept is a point where the graph intersects the y-axis. In other words, the x-intercept 
is represented by an ordered pair with what with y coordinate zero, and the y-intercept is an ordered pair with x coordinate zero. A general algebraic approach approach for graphing an equation using intercept and point plotting follows. So this is on page 190. And the intercepts are going to be the points where the graph cross the axis. So let's say we have a straight line. That's the graph of a line. The point where the graph crosses the y-axis is the y-intercept. And the point where the graph crosses the x-axis is the x-intercept. And uh, the points will look something like this, like um, x comma zero for the x-intercept and zero comma y. Those are going to be the coordinates of the y-intercept. So we're going over example eight. We already found uh, order pairs our solutions and now we're going to grab the equations by point plotting. Let's switch. Okay. Okay, so we're going over example eight. We're going to graph each of the equations from example seven, where we already found solutions. Okay, so they say that uh, the intercepts are good points to start first. So in A, the graph is four X minus one. Let's say we want to find the X intercept. To find the x-intercept, we let y be 0. So if we let y be 0, 0 is 4x minus 1. So uh, 1 is equal to 4x, and x is 1 over 4. So the x-intercept is 1 over 4 comma 0. Now, plotting fractions is not the best. Uh, fractions are not the best points. We already found the y-intercept. So it's always good to try to try different points. To find the y-intercept, we let x be 0. Let's plug it in. We, act, we, act, we already found the x-intercept. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 1. And we also found uh, we also found other solutions. Uh, we also found uh, we also found that one, three, and two, seven were solutions. Okay, so now we're going to plot the points. So we're going to sketch the graph by plotting the points. Okay, so y values were uh, zero, negative one. 
and then the y values or the x values were one, zero, one, and two. Okay, so some of the points we found were zero, negative one. That was the y intercept. We found one comma three and two comma seven. The next one would be three eleven. We're not going to plot those. Three points are enough. So that's going to be the graph. It's going to be a straight line. The points we found were zero, negative one, one, three, and three, eight. Or uh, sorry, two, seven, two, seven, not three, eight, two, seven. And in the process, we found that the uh, that the x intercept is one four comma zero. So this is one four comma zero. Okay, we're going to do the same with uh, parts B and C. The next equation is uh, x equals square root of y minus one. Okay, so we found the following points. We got the points uh, 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 5. Okay, so the x intercept, actually, there is no x intercept. X intercept, there's none. The reason is, be is because if, if we let y be zero, we have that x is the square root of negative one, which is not a real number. Not a real number. And uh, the y-intercept is 0, 0,1. OK, so let's plot the points. That will give us an idea of the graph of uh, x equals square root of uh, y minus one. Okay, so we got the point zero comma one, one, two, and two, five. Okay, we got what we have zero, one, one, two. And to five. The next one would be uh, three ten and so on. And that graph is never going to cross the x-axis. That's why there is no x-intercept. And the last one is part C. It's uh, y equals x squared minus four. Okay, so for this one, we actually found five solutions. We found the solutions negative to zero, negative one, negative three, zero, zero, negative four, one, negative three, 
and 2 comma 0. OK, so the x-intercepts are negative 2, 0 and 2, 0, and the y-intercept is 0, negative 4. Let's plot, or let's draw the graph by point plotting. OK, so the points are what? The points are, we found are 0, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, 1, negative, um, 1, negative 3, and 2, comma 0. And let's indicate the points. The points were negative 2, comma 0. Um, negative 1, 0. No negative one zero, negative one, negative three. Zero negative four. One negative three. And two comma zero. So that's the graph. And uh, the x intercept, there are two. There are two x intercepts. Those are negative to zero and to zero. And the y intercept is zero, negative four. Okay, this is it. With this, I finish uh, section 2.1. Thank you for listening.